Hey everybody, my name is Ray and today we are here to play a little bit of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD as you guys can see on the screen now. I am actually quite surprised at the amount of requests that I got, um, not only for this game in specific, but to actually come back. I say come back because this is the first video that you guys will see on my channel, but I did actually do this before for a little while. Actually, for a little while, I did it for a couple years, but for specific reasons that I won't get into here if you guys really want me to explain it I will in another video um, basically I just stopped all my videos I took down there they're gone they weren't here no more what have you it's been about two months since the last time I recorded and like I said I got several messages from several people people that I didn't even know were subscribed because I never got any comments from them but I got several requests to come back people actually said that they liked my vids even though I was kind of iffy on them but hey, so that's why we're back, so we'll press any button to get this game started. And yeah, I did some test recordings with the audio, the game recording audio, or the game capture audio, and my voice audio, my commentary, whatever, so it should be about good. It should be about where I want it to be. It should be about good, yes. Great way to start your first video after two months. But anyway, let's see. As you can see here, we've already beaten the game. That's what this is. For those of you who don't know, that's what this is. So maybe some of you can see, maybe some of you couldn't. But quest log number two, we about to get in it. I actually just beat the game maybe 30 minutes ago at the time of recording this. We're going to name the character Link. Just because that's what the character's name is. I know a lot of people name it after themselves. Or what have you. And Ray's not a terrible name for a character like this. But Link just seems more fitting. So, um, what is this? Hero mode. In hero mode, you take double damage and won't be given recovery hearts at any point. This mode is only for the truest of heroes. I ain't a true hero, so fuck that. Normal mode, let's do by the way, as far as the cuss words go, I will swear it won't happen continuously, but I will do it. So if you don't like swear words, this isn't the channel for you. If um, you don't care, pick a seat. Because we're in this one for the long haul, because this is a somewhat lengthy game. I don't know how many parts this is going to be. I don't know if I'll 100% this. I probably won't. I've never 100%ed this game. I've never 100%ed in any Zelda game, to be honest with you. And yes, I realize I'm talking over the cutscene, but no one's actually talking, so I feel that I can if I want to. As far as cuts. I know this one isn't terribly long, but it isn't extremely short either. So that's why I'm taking this opportunity to explain a couple of things to y'all. Because y'all can read that stuff on the screen without pausing. Because this game gives you, in my opinion anyway, plenty of time to read the stuff. I hope you guys can't hear that fan in the background. If you do, I will remove it for the future videos and just deal with the heat in this room while I'm recording. But, like I said, um, swear words will be heard. I will say them. I will throw in random cuts of random things from time to time. It won't be, it probably won't be in every video thing, but you will just see like a static cut and some random idiot doing some random crap and then another static cut and then back to this. Or if it applies, if it actually applies to it, I might just insert it in there. But regardless, I've read this many, many times. So I'm not even really paying attention to what the words are saying. I'm just paying attention to the screen, the actual pictures and whatnot. So I know when to shut up and actually get back into that. Actually, that's kind of irrelevant. Actually untrue is what I meant to say because after this there's plenty of time for me to talk still this game takes a little while to get started as far as Zelda fans go I used to always consider myself a Zelda fan then I sat down and had a talk with one of my buddies who's a hardcore Zelda fan and he asked me how many games that I've played and I have played Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages Oracle of Seasons which I both I adore both of those games ages more than seasons but I really do like both of those games actually for a while there for many years ages uh, believe it or not, was my favorite game ever. It's not my favorite game anymore, but it's still pretty high up there. Most of it's probably because of nostalgia. I played Legend of Zelda Green of Time, of course. Pretty much every Zelda game. Anyone who's ever played a Zelda game, that's probably the game they've played. If they've played nothing else. I have also played... I guess, speaking of all Green of Time, I do have the HD version on the 3DS. But I don't have anything to record on the 3DS. So, it w once I get one, and trust me, I plan to. I'm going to do that up. I'm going to play that game at the very least, if not Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask 2, probably. I think I probably like Majora's Mask more than Ocarina of Time, just because there's more of an atmosphere to it. It doesn't feel as stagnant in some places. But regardless, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, Ages, Seasons. I have played The Legend of Zelda Link's Adventure, the second one. I've not really done much with it. I got like three dungeons in and then just forgot about it, basically. Um, obviously, I've played this game. I've beaten this maybe three times and honestly that's it and then he went down the list of how many zelda games there were he mentioned twilight princess which i've never played um i've played hyrule warriors if you consider that a zelda game but um he mentioned twilight princess which i've never played phantom hourglass which i've never played spirit tracks which i've never played the original legend of zelda 
which I again have never played. He mentioned several Zelda games, um, Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword, if you guys want to pronounce it like that, I don't. Um, never played that one either, but it is what it is. It actually feels really good to be back in this recording. It also feels really good to know that um, regardless of how small or large or whatever my subscriber base is, there are actually people who missed my vids and wanted me to come back. Like I said, I got light. Um, at the time of recording, I've gotten maybe 10, 12 different messages, which is, again, more than I expected. I didn't really expect this stuff to be missed, but enough of the depressing crap. We're going to get into this game, and I also changed up my commentary style. I felt stagnant. I felt like I just got into a rut, and I was at that point where I just didn't know what to do. So, now I'm doing this, and I'm starting off the game, my recording as I want to. Big brother! I don't know if I'm going to be doing voices or anything like that. But now the game's actually starting, and there's commentary going on by the actual characters. I'm going to stop explaining stuff. If you guys want to know the actual bit of it, big brother! Then I can go ahead and do that another time. But y'all can see, this is Errol. Errol? Errol? I don't know. I call her Errol. She's got her outfit on that you guys wouldn't have seen at this point of the game because I'd be in the other game. Big Brother! She's got the pirate dress on. She normally wouldn't have that at this point of the game. But since I'm playing through the game after having beaten it, that's what she has. You get uh, a couple of perks, if I remember correctly. I've played through this part of a new game with this thing once. I've never gotten off this island after playing through it a second time. I don't know why. But I hear there are a couple of perks that you get in this game once you leave the island as well. So I'm looking forward to that. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out to the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Look. So I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but Errol's what I'm going to call you. You don't like it. I apologize, I guess. So do you remember what day it is? Today? I don't know why I left out today. Link cannot be bothered. That 420 blaze at face going on. Doesn't care. You're still half a... Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. He sounds like me. I legit forget my birthday almost every year. Until like two days before it happens and people are asking me about it. That's why grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Nice skull dress, sis. Alright. All right, big brother. Grandma is waiting for you back at the house, and I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you too. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of the. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a whole lot of the. Oh well, so this is how you move around, and this is how you know explaining the game. That's what I did in the other videos that I made before, and I just don't. I don't really like that per se. You guys can figure out how to control the characters. Like I'll do every once in a while. Like if you want since i'm using the actual wii u classic controller or pro control whatever the hell you control the you move the camera with the right stick and that's about all y'all gonna find out from me right now because it's just it's boring to me to explain how to move the character and all that other hello i can't see squat hoy link what's that today's your birthday well congrats buddy are you that old already wow time just flies by doesn't it you blink and poof there go no Trust me, after being alive for 27 years, it ain't gone in a blink, bruh. Why, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Link? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun, it's like a treasure hunt. Except, you're going to need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's common sense, buddy. Well, yeah, but you're the one that suggested I cut the grass. It's not like I came up to you and asked to cut the grass and you said I can't, fool. Let's talk to this kid. Are you the snot one? You're not. Hoy, Link, why did everybody says hoy? Hey, is it true that you can... What? If you have just a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to the rock over there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me! I'll tell you one thing. Yes, little one, it is true! But if you want to Z-target with this controller, you hit the ZL button. What's he staring at? Okay. I mean, that doesn't answer my question. But, uh, whatever. So, yeah, I actually do like how they explain these things, because they don't make it too, like, oh, run up and press A to do this. They're like, hey, well, some of them do, but it's like, hey, did you know you could jump off a ledge? Why don't you try it, stupid? Let's talk to this guy real quick. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's something that you guys are going to probably get used to. For some reason, about every ten minutes, my mic does this thing where it starts to cut off on me, and I've been looking into it for months. I've not found a solution to it, but I swear I'm going to, or I'm going to get another mic. But, by the way, when I pressed out, I realized I've got a Picto Box. I guess what it's called, right? Picto Box? Yeah, but you don't get this one 
for a while in the original game. I'll show you guys how to get that when we get there, but let's talk to this fool real quick. I think it's in color, too. You have to do something to get it in color in the original game. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see? Look, that black one out there. Uh, do you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? Nah, you can't just run up to it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR, crouch, and tilt L to crawl slowly. To, well, yeah, okay, slowly. You can also distract it with beta, I guess. Why would I want to do that? Technically, you could actually just walk up to it, I think. Oh, never mind. I thought you could just walk up to it if you walked up to it nice and slow. Get up! Alright, so if I... No, okay. If I go and talk to this dude, or well, try to talk to this dude while I've got this, it'll throw it. I don't want to go near that guy because he'll talk to me if I walk near him. And I think I'll drop the pig. That's snot boy. I don't know if this is homeboy's wife, but this is the woman I'm giving the pig to because she gives me a little sum sum. Throw that in there. Come here, darling. Let me talk to you real quick. Let's do this eye to eye. Why did you just bring that little piglet all the way just here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. I've been thinking about getting a pet for a pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweetie. Yeah, you guys are going to eat that thing. Straight up just bacon bits. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Give me my money. Red ruby. That's 20 rubies. What a pleasant surprise. Why is this little thing as cute as a button? You know, it's so cute, I wouldn't mind having even more of them. So, yeah, I will go get her more pigs. Just not right now. Because the homeboy's not there no more. I mean, he's there, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! I don't want to hear about it. What's up, lady? Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister, whatever her name is, find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars in her head like me, so she could help her grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and then press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she just has to press ZR. Can you tell her that for me? Yeah, I'll tell her. Um, can we buy anything from this dude yet? This is Beetle. Uh, be well, this isn't Beetle. This is Beetle Shop. Beetle is in the shop. But if I, if, 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 no, I don't have a bait bag. Let's talk to this anyway. Oh, customer, welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, sell, it, show it to me. I'll pay top rubies for your junk. Junk, man, forget you. Or did you see anything you'd like to buy? I ain't got no. Oh, that's the bait bag. I don't know why I thought that was a form of bait. This holds bait. It's quite useful, and it's my very last one. You can't buy it if you don't have a bag. What? You can't buy bait. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do this. Yes, I'll buy it. Give me the bait bag! You can keep plenty of bait in this... Wait, why am I doing his voice when it's... Yeah. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a members card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have, you know. Not in this game, anyway. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save a 30, yeah, silver membership. I don't remember what that does. I'm not even sure I've ever done, I'm not even sure I've ever even done it. But we're going to leave out of here. And I'm going to show you guys why I'm not going to go get the pigs for homegirl just yet. Even though I'll probably end up doing it in just a little bit. Let's let's walk up to uh, Eggman up here. Ahoy! Yeah, hoy Link, press ZL, right? Yeah, yeah, ZL, yes. That's correct, you're a smart one. Look at the cranium on this man. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often. Yeah, yes, quite often, yes. ZL, yes. Myriad of other ways to use targeting as well, yes. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you climb up that ladder over there and drop him up. I don't want to drop by your room, man. I gotta go talk to my grandma real quick. What's up, snot boy? I'm, your grandma was calling for you, Link. And <laughs> so was my mom. Yeah, thanks, buddy boy. Now, can we... Is this where I want to go? I think this is where I want to go. Move to the left, Link. Yeah, here we go. To the left. Get in that tunnel. Under your house. It's probably crawling with spiders and cobwebs and shit, which means I would never go in there. At all. Well, there's cobwebs in here, but I don't see no spiders. It's okay. This is why. Orange rupee, 100 bucks. Yes. Oh! Alright, I had something mistaken. I thought you could only hold 100 at this point in the game. But apparently I was wrong. So actually, it wouldn't have been a problem for me to go get the pigs for homegirl. But yeah, I think if you give her all of the pigs, she just gives you 20 rupees each time. And for now, I don't need that cash. We're going to go talk to Grandmama, but for right now, I want to go back to my boy Beetle. Is he out there still? Yes. Okay. I want to go back to my boy Beetle. 
and give us just a little bit more get us just a little bit more bait because that stuff is monumentally important in this game for the sake of 100 percent completion and hell just for the sake of just getting through the game oh thank you as always i appreciate your business dude i've only been here once come on man let me talk get that whatever pair for 10 rupees i'll buy it you gotta however you say it this special bait allows you to take control of seagulls choose your bait bag on the item screen and set it to this this or that when controlling seagulls, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press ZR to quit. Thank you. thank you. Yes, thanks to you. Two points saved up. Yeah, we know. I'm not going to do that every time. We'll buy another one. Thank you. Three points saved up. And we're going to buy some all-purpose bait. Because that does a lot. Actually, I was going to say it's good for fish, but it's good for several things. Uh, you got all-purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food the moment you put it down. It has three portions. Choose your bait bag on the item screen to set the bait to this, this, or that. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Four points saved up. Yes. Membership. Yes. Get me some more of this here. Thank you. And then we're going to buy one more set. And then we out. Yes, Beetle, my friend. Yes, we love you. We love everything about you. We gone. To Grandma's house. I need to talk to my grandma. Um, all right. Move up. I keep trying to cut down these trees, but I realize I don't have a certain item that has no meaning to the Zelda franchise at all. You stupid kid. Oh, I got a hold ZL. I like a Z, uh, ZR. I like how I called that kid stupid. Yet I, come on. Yet I couldn't remember something very so basic. Pick up the... Bruh. Link, come on now. You're killing me. The pig. Thank you. There's another one on the other side of the island, but I'm not going to go all the way over there for it. Throw a uh, little piglets in here. Pork and beans. Any pig as cute as this one is welcome in my pen. You just have... Yeah, go ahead. And... What the hell are you talking about? I just gave you one. Yes, I brought you another piglet, fool. Oh, were you all worried about this little guy? No, I wasn't, but that's okay. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Family member? Y'all gonna eat him. I know you are. Give me that red rupee. Give me that money. If you find the other little pig... Yes. I think she's just... There's only one more pig. I think she'll just give us money. Matter of fact, since my stupid mic is gonna make me reset it in a little bit anyway, let's go get the other pig. I know I've been teasing about going to see Grandma for a while, and this whole video, this first video is going to be about 30 minutes. Because that's my recording style for games like this. Between 20 and 30 minute videos. But um, this is the last pig, obviously. But we're probably not even going to see anything of substance. So again, you know, I should have said this at the beginning if I'd realized it. But skip this crap if you don't care. Come on, man. I got Porky over here. So we got Porky, Pork and Beans, and Piglet. Or Piglet and Pork and Beans. I don't remember. Which, what did I name the black one? Did I name the black one anything? Uh, I don't think I did. I think this kid here is the brother of Snotface. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. I know they don't really give us a whole lot of context. But if you go to their house, I like how Link's carrying this thing without actually touching it. Look at his hands. You see how his hands are not actually touching the pig? They're just on... The pig's just on his head. And I thought it would take longer to get this pig, which is another reason why I was like, nah, I'll get him later. Hey, big mama, come here. Let me talk to you. Oh, look at this one. You sure didn't know how to find the pig's... Wait. The, the biggest, the cutest pigs on the whole Great Sea. So, where exactly do these pigs come from? Happy birthday. Yeah, so she just gave me some more money. Which, again, I appreciate, it, so it's all good. Oinky Woinkies, yes. Think up some good names for the Oinky Woinkies. Because that makes a whole lot of sense. And I think that's... I don't know if she snot knows his mom... Or if that chick up there is not knows his mom. Uh, you'll be able to see them if you actually go into the house of uh, one of these houses later on at a later event. But now we about to go inside. As we step through the darkness. Grandma, where you at, girl? Oh, she's... Okay. I thought she was... thought she was down there. My bad. It escaped me. It did. No, wait. Hold on. I don't want to talk to you just yet, Grandma. Look at this picture. Isn't it cute? It's like an arrow, and um, Arrow looks kind of freaked or worried, maybe, and Link just cannot be bothered at all. But I do know that we're going to get one of the first quote-unquote perks of having played through the game and done this already, because our quote-unquote uniform, outfit, whatever, will be different than the whole game. I've been waiting for you, Link. Here you are, Link. Try these on. 
These are special clothes, made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. So apparently we're all a bunch of liars, because y'all can't see Jack. And neither can I. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. I got nothing! You got the hero's new clothes. What the- Wow, they're really light. What's the matter? Why the long face? You can see them, can't you? Hmm. More pictures of Lincoln Arrow in the background. Nice touch. Look at his face. Good lord. Well, today's the day we commemorate the fact that you've reached the same age as the hero of the legends. You have to be proud about that for at least one day. Put them on, and see if you can't fool anybody in town. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace, which means y'all about to get took over by another tribe. Nowadays, I suppose Orc is the only one on the island who knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Yes, Grandma. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. So she's super honest, so I'm sure she can see whatever the hell we've got on. I assume it's the classic green tunic, but uh, what if it's a little bit something more suggestive? Anyway, well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better get started. Yep, yep, get started, Grandma. Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm -hmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister, Arrow. Yes, ma'am, I'm off. Or maybe I'm not... Yeah, okay, so I'm off. Let's go. It, bruh, stop. I just want to leave. That's it. I just want to get to the door and open it. Why is that Triforce upside down? Was that a... Uh, oh, that's another game I've never played. A Link Between Worlds and A Link to the Past. Two Zelda games that are apparently very similar. And I wouldn't know, because I've played neither of them. So, Sis is up. She's back where she was. Every time I say Sis, I'm going to think of Amber. I know I am. Because I have several sisters. But, um... The only one that I call Sis maybe 95% of the time and very rarely ever say her name is my older sister Amber. Even though that's completely irrelevant, got nothing to do with anything, look at the background. The ocean, not bad. Uh, this stuff is cell shaded, I think is what it's called. And in the background, I think that's what this stuff is called, this art style and whatnot. What up, sis? Talk to me. With the pirate dress, with the skull and all that. Ah, hoy, big brother. Again, with the hoy. Did grandma make that outfit for you? You always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So I guess she's not very honest either, because she can't see it. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second, if you hand me a snake, I will love you forever. I love snakes. I'm going to give you my most treasured blend. It's not a snake, but just for one day. Happy birthday! I don't think he closed his eyes. Yeah! You got the telescope. This is just his most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly! Set it to what, what, and what to use it by whatever pressing. Sure, why not? Use the gamepad, and you can also touch and slide items. Sure, we can do that. So, well, do you like it? I don't use the gamepad, by the way, even though it's a lot more convenient because the buttons don't work half the time. I've had it for a long time, and apparently I've busted it up somehow. I'm going to borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? He, he, he. And no, that's not the way I plan on laughing throughout this game. I mean, in fact, I'll probably be laughing a lot to the point it's going to get on y'all's nerves. Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Alright, so we got this. We got the bait bag. Where am I going? Why? Why don't I set this button to the correct button? Let's see. Big Brother, are you using whatever L to zoom in? Because you should be. Look at that head. Hey, what's that, Link? Are you looking at the red post box? I am not. Big Brother, y yes. There, I zoomed in. See, it's right there. It's beautiful. Whoa, what's going on up there? The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <laughs> Link, the sky. Look up in the sky. Why? What? Uh, what's this guy's name? Helmarok King or some kind of crap like that? I think Hel Helmarok. Is that, is that what these guys are? Okay. So some nonsense is going on, obviously. We can tell that. Look at these fools. Where are they getting these rocks from? They must have some pretty strong dudes to be loading those up so quickly because those rocks are flying really quick. And they can't aim for beans. But at the same time, it, wait. How many of our houses are they going to break with all these goddamn rocks? Okay. Straight up cartoon violence style. See something coming, just get freaked out, float there, I guess, and just let it happen. Why not? Oh, I'm willing to bet that hurt. Look at those trees. Look so fake. Then again, this is a video game. Everything's fake. Like, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. 
isn't that a reference to the first game? I hear that um, it's like it's a really famous meme or whatever, and I've seen it several times, obviously, because it's really famous. But the whole like it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and she says it's dangerous to go up there without something to defend yourself with. Um, you know what? I think this is actually a good time to end it. We're gonna go pick up our sword in the next episode. What the hell is this guy doing? We're gonna go pick up our sword in the next episode and see if we can't go up there and say what's her face. What are you staring at? Do you like shadows, Link? Um, I don't know what he's waving at, but it's kind of freaky. So anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here because I got things to do. So thank you all for watching. As always, it's uh, I guess I, I could say it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and hopefully I will see you for the next episode. But until then, take care of yourselves, everybody.